back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back for the second half of AEW Unmatched Series number 5 with Sammy Guevara, Red Velvet, and Sean Spears. Gonna be real with you, not looking forward to the review today, but you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll see what comes of it. You know, I think we do have some interesting things going on with it. We are slowly completing these sets, which feels like an eternity ago that these things took place. But we do have the figures in hand now, and we're gonna get the other half of this wave knocked out. And we are gonna dive into all the details, compare them, get their groups together, see what they're all about, man. If you guys would like to grab these figures, you already like what you see, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But today, we do have a new Sammy Guevara with two new head sculpts, Red Velvet, a first-time-in-the-line character, and another first-time-in-the-line character in Ty Dillinger. That's just an old recycled dumb thing to say. It's Sean Spears. It's the chairman. All right, I know what it is. Nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and get into the packaging. We do have Sammy Guevara right here. I don't know how I'm feeling about it yet. I think I got to get him out here. We're, we're going to do some different things, but there's Sammy Guevara. Right, he's looking pretty clean. You got his face there. I'd like to see that gear be made right there, actually. But we do have Sammy Guevara here. On the back, you get an image of Sammy. You got the rest of the figures in the wave. Here is Red Velvet. Not sure how I feel about the head sculpt just yet. You know, I'm still contemplating it. I think it has likeness, but we'll have to see once we get her out. But there's a picture of Red Velvet. Rest of the figures in the wave, of course. And then we have Sean Spears, who actually might could be used as an MDT base as far as the torso is concerned. We'll get into that. But there is Sean Spears with the chair, and you got the nice images on the side here. He's number 35. There's Sean Spears there. And then you do have the beautiful white gear with the tattoos and the stuff there. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. Honestly, don't really... I, I like the two-in-one better than the three-in-one reviews, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. But let's dive into Sammy, Red Velvet, and Sean Spears. Find out what they're all about. Get them on the rotating base and see what these guys got. Honestly, really intrigued to see where the ranking goes for this set, but uh, I hear Unrivaled 11 is shipping. Good God. All right, man, so here are all three figures spinning round and round, and I like what I'm seeing, you know, uh, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, some pretty cool details here and there between the three figures, actually shocked by some stuff that we got going on, which is always a bonus, I think, when you don't really know a certain figure or, or really feeling a certain figure, then you get it in hand, you're like, oh, wow, look at that right there, so sometimes it's best to, to check out reviews, man, it's, it's interesting to, to look at these things, and maybe you find out some things that you didn't quite know or notice when you look at the promo images, but that's why we also break down the promo images on the channel so you guys can get a look at the promo images or if you miss out on certain details i could uh, try to point those out as best as possible but what we're gonna do is run through all three figures accessories then all three figures themselves you guys know how it pretty much works nowadays right so we're gonna do that man let's shut the hell up dive into the figures and find out what these guys are about and see where they fall in our ranking later on all right man so getting into red velvet the head sculpt doesn't look as good as it did at fan fest i don't think i think it looked a lot better there because it is a prototype hand painted so you know when you get the mass production it's not going to look as good probably some cases it does but you know it's not terrible i think it misses the likeness a little bit i don't think it's atrocious but yeah it gets the job done i guess you do have the sculpted stuff going down on the chest right here i think they did a good job here with all the golds and red you do have her tattoo here on her ribs do not know what it says it looks like it says one heart maybe you got the key there you also have her other tattoos on her arm here it looks like a dream catcher or maybe a wolf design or something got some stuff going on i just realized i didn't put her hands back in that's on me going over here you do have her like velvet sleeves you got the hair you even got the infinity tattoo on the back there very nice you know tattoo work going on you guys know how they like to do the cheekage you got the red black and gold gear i think they did a good job here it all looks good you got kind of the smaller thighs going on you do have the knee pads and then you also have the kick pad mold that we've seen quite a few times here but uh pretty standard gear not like anything over the top here but i like the figure you know uh i think it's a pretty solid figure overall it feels good i just feel like the, the arms like the bicep swivels a bit loose i do want to put these hands back in here i didn't mean to leave these out but i feel like the hands and the uh the arms are kind of loose here but overall not a bad red velvet figure you know i like to fill out the roster especially the women's side of the roster i think they've done a pretty good job of giving us different characters here but as far as women's figure comparisons you do have red velvet up next to the supreme collection Britt baker and the aew unrivaled nine thunder rosa figure and this fits pretty good in here i like how you get like three different heights and uh, i think they're doing a pretty good job on the women's figures i think the scale across the board is pretty good here and you won't have any you know problems uh, you know, having matches or doing displays and things of that nature. So, pretty good stuff going on right here with Red Velvet, but I think her head sculpt could be better. I think that she'll get a better figure down the line, but it's still a, I think it's a solid representation of Red Velvet, and that's really all you can ask for, right? Alright, guys, so for Sammy Guevara's accessories, you get the two head sculpts, and you get the mediocre interchangeable hands, man. I mean, let's go ahead and knock these out. You get the fists, which are always stiff. You guys know, they haven't changed the mold. This is literally the Young Bucks Series 1 hands. At least it looks like it to me. You know, I could be wrong, but they look identical. That weird shape, and everything 
anything like that, it's the same. After that, you do have the same AEW Jazzwares grabby hands that are kind of grappling, not quite mic holding, but kind of weapon holding slightly. Can't hold nothing, get the point. And then outside of that, we do have our two interchangeable head sculpts. Now, this Sammy Guevara one right here, it almost looks like he's cross-eyed for a moment, but if you, like, look in there, he's actually not cross-eyed, but I like the hair sculpt. I think it looks good. The likeness is solid. It's not my favorite one, but, you know, it's not terrible. I like the colors of it and everything like that. It just, it looks like, he looks like a kid I went to elementary school with. His name was Ryan Cunningham, I do believe, and he had a lisp, and we called him Secret Agent because he would say Secret Agent because he couldn't say Secret. We didn't make fun of him. It was just like a thing we all did. We were all friends together. It was it was awesome. I, I love that guy. That guy sees this video. Miss you, Ryan. Yeah, that's kind of what this head sculpt reminds me, but he, he wasn't cross-eyed. This, this just, uh, the likeness kind of looks like him. It almost has like a mayor's assistant from the Grinch look going on too. You know what I'm saying? And then the yelling one is probably my favorite one, and I'm not one for yelling head sculpts, but I think this one works out good. The hair sculpt's good. Likeness is good. Teeth look good. And this one is not oversized like Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson, so that's good. This I think this works out well, and uh, yeah, Sammy Guevara accessories. So getting into Sammy Guevara, uh, this head sculpt's not as good as the screaming one. It just looks a bit off. I think there's like a glare or something making that look weird, because like, if you get the shadow right, it doesn't look as bad, but figure's not bad. You do have the prison jumpsuit, says inmate right here. You get the rips on the sleeve, which look good. I wish it was a bit more jagged and they didn't have that cloth underneath there, but I think the sculpt's good. You even have the black wrist tape that is sculpted on there. I think all of this looks nice on the back. You get Guevara Harris County Corrections. You know, it's just the prison jumpsuit, but this is a newly sculpted torso, crotch, and legs. You have the nice molded legs here, which have the shin cut, the thigh cut, the double jointed knee, I mean, and these shoes are one of one sculpted, man. How badass is that? That's what makes Jazzwares and AEW figures really awesome, is that everything's pretty much a one of one sculpt, so you get a lot of unique sculpts, you get some cool things going on, not a lot of reuse. You do get some figures re-released, you know, you, that does happen, but you do get a lot of one of one molds, which is really awesome, so you do have the shoes here, which are, you know, you could take, there's so many different options for shoes that you can use here, but those look really good. I couldn't find a good picture of the actual shoes, but I, I'm pretty sure they're identical to what they look like. They're just missing, I think he was wearing Nikes of some kind, but the arms feel good, a little bit loose here, but the biceps are really what's loose, you know, like, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, especially if you go with, like, one of these positions where you're trying to put the arms on the hips, that's where you get the, that looseness, which I find unacceptable, but at the same time, I really enjoy the figure, man. I really, really do. I think he feels really good in the hand. You can do some really good poses with him here. I know it popped off right there, but he can kick forward pretty solid. You do get the shin cut, you get the thigh cut, you get the double jointed knee, and I mean, I will be honest with you, these legs feel a little bit wobbly, but at the same time, you could pop this off and you can put all kinds of guys on these legs here, because now you have like sweatpants slash joggers, and you could put anybody on here. Here's a random Kenny Omega custom right here. You can just plop that in here, and now you have Kenny Omega in jogging pants. Like, look how sweet that is. And you can do that with anybody. It looks like jogging pants. It doesn't look like a prison jumpsuit anymore, does it? It just looks like regular jogging pants or sweatpants, and you could make all kinds of characters. I mean, the limitations are are not uh, that wide. You can, you can do all kinds of things here. So that's always awesome. I love the playability of the AEW figures. It's really amazing. So I enjoy that, but I do have some other comparisons I want to get into. So let's go ahead and get into that. Here's Sammy Guevara in his prison jumpsuit. And then you have the massive Jake Hager in his jumpsuit. Suit. And then you have the first Sammy Guevara here on the right. And I like the new skin tone they gave to Sammy Guevara right here. I feel like this one was a bit pale. But, uh, you know, you could just put this head sculpt over here. Or you could get the new Target exclusive with the red foil. But we do have multiple guys coming soon in the prison jumpsuits in the Unmatched Series 6 wave. I do believe we have Santana and Ortiz. We have Jericho coming in Unrivaled 11. So, you know, we got all those good things coming. But love that you got the one-of-one -one shoe molds going on with these. And I think these look good up next to each other as far as scale is concerned. You know, I, I like it. But, uh... Uh, I think I'd like to see another... I I'm ready to get the red gear from the Target exclusive. That'll be really nice. But there's Sammy Guevara and his figure. Uh. Now getting into Sean Spears' accessories, you do have the chair because he is the chairman. And I really like his logo, how it's like the Canadian flag or the, the maple leaf there. You got the skull in there with the circle. Looks really good. You got the white and red and black. It's just a fold-away chair. And it's got some nice sculpt to it. We've seen this before, but it is nice. I like how it has the sheen to it because it, look like, it looks like a metal chair. So that's nice. It's very lightweight. You know, you can get the job done. You can crack people over the skull with it. So that, that works out for me. You know, I like it. I think it's a perfect accessory for him. Outside of that, you get a uh, regular grappling hand, and then you also get this fisted glove hand to interchange on the left hand. So the sculpt's very nice. I think it looks good. It's actually a new sculpt, I think. I don't think we've seen these gloved hands before, but you get the little notches on the hands, and then you get the sculpt, and it fits the figure well and stuff like that. But the chair's the main accessory, I'd say. You know, I don't, I don't think anybody would have cried if you didn't get the interchangeable hand, but the chair, put the chair.
chairman must be a deal so i like the chair with the chairman all right guys so getting into sean spears this head sculpt's not atrocious i feel like this eye looks like him and then this one doesn't you know i i feel like that's the case here but mohawk looks good i like the beard i like the little cuts in his eyebrows he always has always looks good here i think the likeness is there you know i think it's there it's not perfect but it's there overall i like the torso choice he's got all his tattoos going down very toyetic there you got the white wrist tape which is not sculpted on which is actually kind of shocking but it's probably because this arm has the full white sleeve so that's probably the reason why but that looks good i think that's the first sleeve we've seen on an aew figure so far but torso looks good for him i like the purple gold and white as far as the pinnacle is concerned you got the pinnacle back there with the mountaintop looks very clean you have the skin tone thighs white and gold knee pads which look really good for customs and then you have the white and gold boots that are newly sculpted with the straps on there so that's pretty cool there but this figure is not like overly exciting maybe but i think it's pretty cool I, I think that it's more toyetic than some other guys that we've seen so far i was always a ty dillinger guy i i was happy for him in wwe i think that you know you got a lot of good stuff going on with this figure here and, you know they're all in ball joints so they have a pretty good kick forward he's got the double jointed knee you get the upper thigh cut arms are pretty smooth i'd say biceps not loose like other figures he can look down and up decently because you know he doesn't have long hair so I, I'm, I'm feeling the figure man i actually like it a lot but we do have to see what he looks like up next to his pinnacle mates that we've gotten so far in the gear and you have the unrivaled series 10 wardlow and the aew unmatched series 4 mjf all in their purple and gold and i feel like this purple is different but that's probably how it was i bet they didn't get all their gear made by the same person so the purples are going to be slightly off and i feel like mjf should have worn white boots to really complete it but i like all these up next to each other i think you got some good stuff going on i love the wardlow jesus what a mountain of a man and all the skin tones look good i think that his looks the best probably the most natural but you guys know how the skin tones are in the aew figures they kind of are random and sporadic but i like all three of these up next to each other and i think that once we get the full wave in here i think we're gonna be uh we're gonna have a really good unit here on in the white and purple you know somebody needs to make like get two sets of each and then make bloody versions and post-match versions i think that would be awesome as well but i think that pretty much wraps up our three in one aew and match series five review on red velvet sammy guevara and sean spears man had a lot of fun with the review not my favorite figures of all time i think that i i, I honestly i think scale not necessarily with these to be honest with you but i think scale and then loose arm slash biceps with these aew figures are their biggest flaws man and, and they're really big ones they actually are i'd say i think that you get some really damn good figures from aew and jazzwares but then you get some that just make you scratch your head and go why is this a thing help me god so you know there's just that big scale there and you just got to figure out which side of the coin you're on but i like all three of these figures they definitely have their issues i think that all of them turn out pretty good though you know as old as they are as far as you know the Sammy Guevara being in the prison jumpsuit the pinnacle Sean Spears you know but they're still quality figures outside of the loose bicep on the on the Sammy Guevara like good god man that makes me sick I can't stand that but anyways man if you guys would like to grab these figures you can't do so over at ringside collectibles wrestling figures.com but let's get into our random shout out because it's actually very very important second shift superstar Jazzwares messing up on heights is really unacceptable at this point they correct the Dustin Rhodes height, so it's obvious they are aware of the issue. I just don't see how these are making it to mass production without the scaling being caught and corrected. Yeah, man. I just, uh, like, that's actually, a, it, it, it's a deal breaker for some people, man. And it honestly kind of is for me. I think that, you know, you gotta get the scale right because if the, I don't, what like, I know we dealt, we dealt with it with the deluxe aggressions we've seen, you know, we, we've seen figures that are way too big and out of scale back in the day with the Rey Mysterios being the same as Big Show and stuff like that, but that's, I in 2022 man truly unacceptable the daniel bryan figure is way too big daniel bryan's 510 and like the proportions aren't there he's bigger than kenny and then you got daniel bryan or brian danielson being the same size as damn ultimate edition brock lesnar or close to it just unacceptable i know that's two different lines okay i get the point but point still stands you got to make the guy smaller i love that they gave him more muscular body or like a bigger body and stuff like that but at the same time man you can't be having that when you compare it to a kenny omega you know what i'm saying you just can't have that it's got to be fixed it's something that they definitely need to take into fruition they definitely need to take that into consideration and hopefully they do so and maybe we can fix that in the in the future but that is going to wrap up today's video man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on this wave down in the comment section below what do you think of the three in one reviews i think again it's going to depend on the characters but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time have a blessed day and i'll see you guys in the next one i think i just said that but you get the point you cross the line.